All right, today we've got a nice little blast from the past for you. So I am going to be testing out a, what I think is going to be the hottest item of the year, CD player in my Tesla Model Y and seeing if we can use it to play back some tunes. So stick with me and we'll give it a shot. Let's what? <laughs> All right, so this is the Pospo Jupiter, and it is a CD and apparently DVD player uh, designed to be used in the car. Um, it has got uh, anti-skip technology and all of the other goodness that you might remember and expect from a CD player uh, if it's been quite a few years since you've used one, just like me. I think, uh, let's see, it's certainly been longer than since this guy came along, uh, since we've used any CDs, but, you know, I think with the popularity of vinyl, um, and now, like, cassettes coming back, I think it's only a matter of time until CDs are the next thing. So, I'm gonna give this a shot, and, as a bonus, we're also gonna try out my old iPod Classic. Um, actually, not even a Classic, this was just called the iPod then. Uh, this is the 160 gigabyte version. I forget exactly My which one. Uh, we're going to try that too. Alright, so people may not realize this, but um, in the Tesla Model 3 and Y, uh, the newest versions, so you actually have uh, multiple USBs throughout the car. You've got two down in here, but those are USB-C only, and they are not data compatible. And then you... You also have two USB-C's down here, which are also for charging only. The only place in the car where you have a data-compatible USB-C is here in the glove box, where you will actually find the flash storage drive um, that Daddy. comes with the car uh, that is used for the sentry mode and dash cam footage. So you can actually use this drive uh, here for putting flash storage in with audio files on, and you can play back from there. But what's cool about the CD player is, it actually will just mount itself as a storage device and allow us to play back from there. So let's give it a shot. So I'm going to take this out carefully. And the nice thing about this is it comes with this nice long USB uh, extension cable. Alright, so we've got this nice long USB extension cable with it. I'm just going to get that plugged in. Oops, oh, if we go the right way. Okay. Alright, so we've got that plugged in. And now, for better or worse, the only CD I could find was this one, which is a uh, audio uh, recording of the How to Be a Viking uh, book for my kids. We got rid of all of our CDs a few years ago because it's not like we were using them. Alright, so let's see. Simple as... And you get that old CD whirling sound that I love so much. Alright, so now what we should see is... USB here? In a second. And you can see that it has found all of the tracks on here. And now, let's see. All right, we got it working. How cool is that? So with this, we can listen to all of our audio CDs now. So it might be time to start stocking up on some of those rather than just vinyl. And we're gonna have great, amazing, lossless quality sound here that you can only get from CDs and not from streaming. <coughs> Alright, so we'll have to give this a try and see if uh, we notice any skipping or anything as we're driving. And I think one question I'm probably going to get here is whether or not it fits in the glove box, so let's see. And it looks like indeed it does. Get that there. Oh, just... And get it off of the cable here. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh. oh, it's just too wide. Alright, so you can kind of do it on this side. 
and then have it come down the door there. And then this could go over here. And here. And there. And then that way you're you have your passenger be in control of the CDs if you trust them that much. Alright, well we're gonna drive now and see if we're getting any skipping. Alright, well we're doing great. I haven't heard a single skip and we're going over some bumpy New Jersey roads right now. So it seems like this has got some great anti-skip tech in it and it's working super well. Alright, now you may be wondering, does this work only in the Tesla? So I am here with our Buick Enclave to give it a test as well, make sure it works there too, which it should because it should just mount as like a generic USB drive basically, which I know this car supports. But let's make sure and give it a shot. All right, well, we've got it hooked up. You can hear the CD spinning there. And I've got it plugged in right here, which is a great location for USB here. And I also really like uh, that you can just plug in your iPhone here too and it'll mount CarPlay. But we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, I've already talked a whole lot about how much I think Tesla is missing an opportunity by not having CarPlay and Android Auto. All right, look at that. Just auto started playing by itself. All right, yeah. So we are all set with this in, I think any car that supports USB uh, drive with audio, uh, you're not gonna have any problem with this. So yeah, I wish um, that Tesla would integrate CarPlay as well. Um, so that you could play directly off of your phone and use other services rather than just the limited streaming ones that they support. But hey, this is a great new option now. I might be using this as well as my iPod and the Tesla now uh, when driving around. All right, well, no problems here in the Buick. All right, and next up as a little bonus here, we're gonna try out our old iPod, which I know still works because I was just listening to it the other day. So we're gonna get our, our uh, 16, 16 pin connector in there. Get this plugged into USB. All right, let's see. I don't know if this will work because this is not wave files. And I don't know if it'll just mount as a audio or not. Oh, it looks like it's at least trying, let's see. All right, oh my God, that worked. Look at that, we can play our iPod collection through here. All right, let's just see. It works. It works, Arla, what do you think? What do you think? Awesome. All right, that's great news. So we got some new music listening options now. So I'm thinking with that, I wonder if we should even keep paying for the um, enhanced, or the premium connectivity, which allows us to listen to Apple Music in here. We may not need it. We got iPods and we got CD players now. We'll be driving around in our Tesla, driving an electric car, listening to music like it's 2002. All right, let's drive, Arlo. All right, well, with that, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what CDs do you still have that you would listen to in your Tesla uh, and what's on your iPod. All right. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.